Yo, what is YouTube boy? We just want to turn it back in with another YouTube video. And today, we got another cool video. Again, this one is courtesy of Caesar's Sportsbook, which is a basically just a bunch of gambling thing that do in Las Vegas. And basically, they bring out another win total of what I guess you can do over and under. I guess you can put bets on this. I'm not a betting man, so I have no idea how this works. But yeah, I guess if you live in Las Vegas, you can go and put a bet online. And then bam, you can bet if the team's going to win more or less games. So it's pretty cool. And then again, of course, we're going to talk about the Celtics. I'm going to see other notable teams. But let's get into this video. So the Boston Celtics were given 49 and a half wins. I ain't mad at that. I, I ain't mad at that one. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not mad at 49. That's a round where I put it. I think I said we're going to win somewhere between 49 and 51 games. Now, according to this sheet as well, it still has us at the third seed in the East, which is interesting. But another notable thing, a notable team, the Washington Wizards had 28 wins. I don't think John Wall's going to play this year. Bradley Beal, yes, he's so good. They just paid him his money. But, bro, they're going to suck. John Wall is probably the worst contract in the NBA, him and Chris Paul. And then you have Bradley Beal who just got his money, but they're not going to be good. 28 wins? Bro, they, they're winning as many games as the Phoenix Suns are. I mean, that's just projection wins, but it, that's crazy, bro. But yes, third in the West, or third in the East, I ain't mad at that with the Celtics. Honestly, I think that's fair enough. I we can, we can all admit, Celtics fans or NBA fans, you can all admit, these Sixers have a better roster. The Bucks have a better roster. So speaking of those two teams, Milwaukee Bucks have a 57 win total, and then Philly has a 54 win total. I think I said the Sixers. Yeah, I think, actually, no, I can mess with that. Again, I can mess with all these rankings. Now let's see some other notable East teams. They have the Hawks winning 36 games, which is crazy. The Brooklyn Nets with Kyrie and no KD winning 47. I don't know about that one, Chief. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know about that one. The Hornets, who now have my boy uh, Terry Rozier winning 24 games. I believe that's the least in the entire NBA. It is. Yeah, they're gonna win the least amount of games in the entire NBA, and I would like a nice little bet on that because I believe that is probably true. New York Knicks have 27. So yeah, tell me down below what do y'all think about that. I, I believe it. They lost Kemba, they lost Jeremy Lamb, and they got back Terry Rozier, who is a good player, but is he a starter in the NBA? I think he is. But man, him and who? Who do they have? Frank Kaminsky? That Zeller kid? I mean, who else do they have? Marvin Williams, he still does he still play on their team? Uh, Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, the guy who's supposed to turn into, he was supposed to be a Kawhi Leonard, but never got a jumper. I mean, just the Hornets are bad. So yeah, 24 wins, I wouldn't be mad at that. The Cavs also actually have 24 wins projected. Uh, they have the Houston Rockets, who just got uh, my man Russell Westbrook, that 52 wins. Indiana right on our tail with 48 wins. I can see that. So I, I told you this before, I'll make another video about this a couple days from now. People have been giving me some good suggestions. And speaking on that, People, I love the comments on. People telling me down below what they want to see. I think it's cool telling me to do like the best duo, best, you know, who the best big three in the NBA is, how the Celtics rank against this team and that team and match up. It's cool. I like seeing that videos. It helps me make content. It really does. But anyway, seeing that all these teams and the way they stack up is pretty close to how I'm going to do it as well. I told you I'll probably have Bucks, Celtics, Philly, mainly because. Philly has a lot of old players. Joel Embiid's not going to play 82 games in a season. I promise you this. If Joel Embiid plays, let's say, 80 games this season, I'll pay everyone five bucks. About that. Every single person. Because guess what? I think we all realize that's not going to happen. Joel Embiid's never in his career going to play 80 games in a season. Didn't play a full season of college basketball, and they only played, what, 30 games? He had a back spasm in that. I don't think he even played in the March Madness tournament. Joel Embiid will just never truly be healthy, mainly because, well, he's such, he's such a big guy. Yes, guys who are over seven feet don't have long NBA careers. Why? Because, well, just their knees eventually give out, their backs start hurting, and it's just hard. And he's having weight problems at the age of, what, 25, 26, and he has knee problems, and he gets random concussions, and he gets stomach aches, and he will never play 80 games. The most, I think, realistically, is maybe 70 is a good year. 70 is a good year for him, but around 65 is probably realistic for him. And obviously the Bucks are going to be good. I know they lost Middleton, or not Middleton, they lost uh, Brogdon, they lost uh, Miritich, and then they got Paul, they brought, who, did, who did they bring back? They brought back someone kind of nice. I can't remember who they brought back, but they signed a decent player to go along with their bench unit. Someone tell me now who, the, who that was. They signed someone recently, it was like a week ago. Well, Bucks will be good. Uh, I believe, who has the best record in the NBA? I think it's the Bucks. Yes, the Bucks have the most wins in the NBA 
but they are tripping here. They're saying that the Lakers win 51 games. That's tough. I don't know about that one either. So if they're putting into play players that don't play many games, if they're saying LeBron's going to miss some time and AD's going to miss some time, then why, why do you have the Sixers winning 54? Or, or, or the, the rating system is a little weird. Again, I'll tell you this with Sixers. Sixers, I mean, people kind of hate on me, but no. No one's scared of Ben Simmons. I ain't scared of Tobias Harris. Al Horford's a really good defender, but he's not going to drop 30 on you. Joel Embiid's who you fear, but will he be healthy in a game? Homie has missed playoff games in his career back-to-back -back seasons. And he's never played a full 870 game season, let alone 80. So yeah, no one, no one fears that team really. They're a good squad. They're good. But no one really fears them when it's time to get dirty. And yeah, you just back off Ben Simmons and let him demand shoot. Uh, Miami Heat, we got my man Jimmy Butler. 43 wins. That's probably close to it. Mess with that. Now, they're tripping on this one. Orlando Magic. And I told you this. We played the Celtics. I mean, the Celtics played them a lot of times last year. They're good. Uh, they got back Terrence Ross. Vucevic didn't have a good playoffs, but he's a solid regular season player. DJ Augustine's good. They're going to get Markel Fultz. Now, that's probably the hidden team. Of the year. If Markel Fultz can just be a, a projected 10th overall pick, the man was a number one overall pick because the man could ball at Washington. He could. And what happened in the two years at Philly, no one can understand. No one can explain. But we all know he's a good player. He just needs to get that jumper back. We all know he's a solid player. And then we just ended this video. I don't want to make it too long for y'all. Just to make a quick in and out video. They have the Dallas Mavericks, who might get my man Chris Stops back this year. They haven't won in 41 games. Are y'all crazy? The only reason why Luka didn't get him to the playoffs is because they traded away all his help. Dennis Smith Jr. gone. DeAndre Jordan gone. Wesley Matthews gone. They traded away half his starting lineup. What? Of course the Eagles going to lose. They wanted the tank. And they tanked. They only got like a 10th pick in the draft. So they crazy for that. They, they're crazy. They have the second year of Luka. Hopefully they don't trade away all those pieces. And they trade away Harrison Barnes too. I forgot about that one. But yeah, how you going? 41 wins. That's probably the most disrespectful thing I've seen here. Is, is that one. But other than that, them and the Lakers. Other than that, that's the end of the video. Be back again next time for more daily uploads. I'll be back next time. Whoa, chill, 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 chill. This is not a Twitch ad. This is a new YouTube membership exclusive ad. Guess what? If you hit the button next to the subscribe button, it's called join. If you click that, you pay $4.99 monthly. Eh, yeah, no price, but it sounds it's cool rewards though. You get rewards and you get perks, like you get emojis and badges next to your name when you comment down below. That's cool. Number one, you also get cool exclusives. You get to talk to me in live stream that only equip to members. So members get to hit me in the live stream. We can watch NBA games, NFL games, college games. It will be a cool experience. Number two, you get to add me on PlayStation 4, or I guess PS5 comes out soon. You get to add me on that as well. We can play games together like 2K and Madden. That was a cool experience. And also, finally, you get to be in giveaways that only go to members. If y'all give to me, I will give back to y'all. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. If you do, down below, hit the join button. Get back to the video.